this demo, we are looking at a project we were working on earlier, and we're going to add some easing to this animation. So uh, the first thing we need to do is we're going to uh, actually animate something else. So we're going to create a rectangle. Let's make sure we're inside the grid. So let's select the grid, and we'll uh, put that rectangle there. And then let's move it uh, uh, right there. And then I'm thinking um, it'll be like a spaceship landing. So what we'll do is add a little transform so it's aligned. And what we'll do is uh, as this animates uh, rotating around, we're going to land it on the surface of this guy. So first we need to do a transform so we align it uh, roughly with the surface of the ball there. So let's let's run and compile that and make sure it uh, makes sense. So it's building. You can see that there. And uh, so we have our animation and we have our box just kind of uh, uh, orbiting uh, even with the circle there. So now what we'll do is we're going to create a couple uh, uh, double animations on this guy. So let's go into the code view and expand this out so we can see it a little better. So we're going to have to animate two particular properties in this case. One is going to be uh, its left and right um, properties. So uh, let's collapse some of this. Oh, not Visual Studio, so we can't do that. Rectangle. We can give it a name though, so uh, let's see. We'll call this ship just to make it easy. Cut that. So target name. And then for the target property, we're going to actually go with canvas. Uh, dot left and canvas dot well actually we're not using canvas here uh, so let's scroll down so we might need to make this a canvas um, so so the the issue is we've created a grid and we have that grid rotating around right now what we want to do is animate stuff uh, specifically in there uh, and add easing to it. So um, what we'll need to do is turn this into a canvas. We can do uh, that canvas. And we're going to have to make some adjustments with our UI. Uh, now, canvases uh, are used when you need to have some uh, discrete control over the contents of, uh, of what you're animating or uh, moving. So generally, anytime there's some where there's programmatic control and you need to do discrete motion, that's generally where you see canvases used uh, as opposed to a grid, which does your dynamic layout. Um, and from a design standpoint, your UI tends to be a lot more robust if you use a grid because it's more flexible. It does the layout for you and kind of rearranges things depending on the resolution. Whereas if you use a canvas, uh, you don't get that by default. So you have to um, kind of uh, alter that on your own. So you can see we turned it to a canvas. The animation works on the canvas, but everything is kind of mucked up. 